Hello and welcome to another episode of the Plus 63 HP podcast D&D edition. I'm one of your players, John Clemente. I play as Itsuki, a very humble, very nice, very lovable uh Yuanti pure blood uh rogue ranger. Alongside with me are a bunch of my very very close friends and family now. We're about to do our one year anniversary of recording our first D&D campaign. I'll pass it on to my bestest best friend Trubox to introduce himself. Yeah, hello. So I'm Trubox. Uh, I play Ma- Malak, the Sco- uh, Asimar Paladin that's borderline serial killer. Welcome. Uh, we also have with us our newest addition to the family, Isa B. Hi, I'm Isa, and I play Shibra, the tabaxi fighter, who is steady and down to earth. We have one more brother on his way. He'll come in the session once he is out of traffic, but we can't do all of this magic shenanigans, this wonderful world adventure without our world weaver, uh, Angela. Hi. So yeah, I'm Angelo. I'm the DM. So I'll be playing everyone else. <laughs> yeah. And with that, we are just going straight into our latest episode, in our latest session. We've been in, we've been away for a while, so we'll do a little bit of recap so everybody gets grounded on meaning, what we have to do. Meaning, meaning, <laughs> So I'll pass okay. it on to our DM uh, for said recap. Okay. So yeah, so last session, so after last session, so now we have uh, adventures in recovery, hopefully. So with the silver shadows intercepting a bugbear, uh, Jespor, by and killing uh, his wyvern, uh, they discover that the hill giants have been ruling by bullying the smaller races, which is which are the ogres, ah, uh, yeah, the ogres, the goblins, the hobgoblins, uh, and the orcs. Um, which and this means that our heroes might have more allies than they initially thought they had. Uh, as Jasper said, that um, while some of them were being converted by these like foul hill giant magics, who has who he has no idea where that came from. Um, those who have not yet turned seem uh, maybe amenable to uh, removal of management. So now, sparing Jespor's, uh, Jespor's life, uh, the Silver Shadows now head towards ruins in the north to recover and plan their next step. Um, so yeah, at this point, uh, the five of you are Gallup Abbey. Right now, it is uh, nighttime. It is outside, and the uh, the sky is cloudy, but there is the faint dim of moonlight in the grassy hills beyond you. Um, I will the party travel throughout the night just to reach the ruins. I think we should. I think we should so that we can scout and prepare for once uh, there's daylight. Okay, so um, it will take uh, half a day to get to the ruins. Um, and as you're galloping along, um, uh, and as you're galloping along, you um, it's rel- uh, the landscape's relative the landscape's relatively flat and just just slow steady slopes of up and down so your hor- your mounts like the horses and that one saber tooth tiger um, can gain ground <laughs> relatively quickly um as you're traveling you feel the fatigue of like your wounds which has which have barely recovered you know stitched together by magic and you know makeshift means uh, i think i think does itsuki have any spell slots left or <laughs> No, I'm out. Well, half yeah. half day, I get one back, right? Yeah, when we're resting. We're not resting yet. Yeah, so, yeah, if we travel half, half day, yet. I should have... No, no, we're traveling. We're not resting. Oh, we're not resting, and then I yeah. lose the spots. Yeah, so, like, how does this, like, with its Kihabilo spell slots, how does this, like, manifest? Like, is he tired? Is he dizzy? Is he... Does he have a headache? Or <laughs> no, Still just... Uh, Still poised, maybe a little bit uh, uh tired and uh, much less snarky than normal. Are you yeah, doing the, the inside? 
like the perfect uh, face but sweaty <laughs> like sweaty, like yeah. poised face but sweat all around. yeah and then like i think and peels meme sp- sketch um <laughs> no I, how about like uh a lot uh, lethargic just sleepy and exhausted so because he's tired he can't you know snark back at anyone so it's just like quiet and not thinking okay. foggy headed okay okay uh, and then i think mala also has like reduced resources i have i'm like, down to one level one one level two okay so like how does that manifest in malak's you know physicality um, physical i think i have a headache yes like uh a nagging headache that like like a hangover like ex- uh, exhausted a little bit okay and then well, you can't see him sweating though. anyways i have a mask uh yeah yeah but like yeah you're trying to keep steady on uh what's his name uh jong my uh, buckbeak no 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 it, no you're not horse you're oh yeah you're yeah, yeah. Left your... yeah yeah i forgot yeah but like i think you're on what's the name of your tiger <laughs> oh kujo no i think i'm on a horse and kujo's just following us no no you said you're on kujo and then uh, oh. just four is on the horse Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha. And yeah, I'm getting a little so, motion yeah. sickness because uh, I'm not used to riding Kuj. <laughs> yeah, but you know, instinctively, uh, Kujo is like you know naturally trying That's to true. follow your movement. So, uh, but... and then for Shivra, like, uh, how does she feel with like? I, th- I also know like you used a lot, uh, not a lot, but like you used like some of your resources as well. So. <laughs> She just really wants to get a rest and uh, <laughs> calm down after all the events of the day. Does she have this like you know? Does she have this like pit of anxiety in her in her like stomach area? Yeah. Or okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as you all are galloping towards the um, the ruins that uh, Jasper has mentioned, and as you travel throughout the night, um, yeah, let's um. Let's, everyone is roll for constitution saving throws. Oh, shit. As, uh, we're pushing ourselves. Damn it, I forgot about this. Oh. Two. Oh. Okay, I rolled for Asomedos. He got a 14. Plus, plus, whatever. So, process. Um, Five plus two, seven. Seven. Um, Malak, what do you get? I got an eight. Son of a bitch. Eight. Seven, eight, Chira. Seven plus four, so that's eleven. Eleven. Okay. Uh, Shivra, as you're galloping, you, you feel this like you know the exhaustion is creeping up to you, so your natural training kicks in to try to, um, you know, um, push away the physical exhaustion. <laughs> like you remember your lessons of your mother. And like, like what? What would that look like? How would she teach Shira how to flashback? She has physical, uh, physical, you know, limitations, physical demands. <laughs> uh, extended uh, training over the course of several hours, and harsh words and um, punishments when she doesn't uh, does things the way that her mother wants her to things like that yeah so yeah you just like imagine uh, the, your mother's words like you know your mind instantly calls to her <laughs> uh, and then like you know like you just remember stuff that she, that she says of, like this is our fourth spar how dare you be tired <laughs> very disheartening uh, and you know um would she compare Shivra to her other siblings? Oh yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah. How do you expect yourself to be uh, an Avendapa at, at this rate? You know, things like that. Your brother fought me for twelve hours before a single sweat appeared in his eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, things like that. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, but you know, um, you know, remembering that, and perhaps in spite of it, like you, you know, push away the exhaustion and. You come out mostly fine. Uh, unfortunately for the two of you, um, a jump failed. Is he? Yeah, I got like a seven. Oh my god! <laughs> so like, um, 
you know, like, it's just too much right now. Like so much has happened, and you're not able to get like a good rest uh, for now. So as the as your night continues, um, um, yeah, the exhaustion just seeps in. Oh my god! Um, yeah, and running, I'll say on like um, on the fourth hour and on the fifth hour, you run and um. Jasper makes like a loud whistle and just and just points at like a direction. And as you follow where he's pointing at, you see in this like collection of trees, you see like a bunch of owl bears. I your caravan your, your group hungrily. And they're about to, you know, pounce at you guys. Um do you uh, like run away or you, do you try to like engage and then <laughs> no we shouldn't engage at this point we just try to round them away round away mm. okay um, what can i do yeah i think that's fine okay we have Chiba, you. To scout anyway right yeah so shivra about you or the shivra would she, what would she ever want to do? <laughs> she used this away. Okay. So uh, I'm guessing like you, um, the uh, the five of you um, pivot and, you know, try to circle around just to avoid the, mm. um, just to avoid the... Is Skipper still flying around? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll roll for Skipper. Okay. Okay, yeah, Ooh, he made it. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, and as you're as uh, as you're heading towards the ruins, uh, you just hear that Jasper. Uh, yeah, you hear Jasper just um, uh, just comment of like uh, and just comments like unusual to see bugbears. Ah, uh, to see owl bears. Uh, it's unusual to see that many bugbears. Uh, owl bears hunting. You usually get them in pairs at most. Um, and yeah, as you continue towards your and as the uh, like right like right as the sky grays towards uh, dawn break, you finally see the ruins that uh, your destination, the destination of your ruins. It is marked by this like heavily. You know, eroded and heavily collapsed uh, dwarven statue, uh, like the big dwarven statue um, that marks a nearby that's on top of this like nearby uh, hill. Uh, and as you circle around, uh, Jasper leads you um, to a um, a rather large uh, opening leading underground. Um, and yeah, he asks the party to stop and just goes, uh, we're here. And he all dismounts and um, yeah. Um, I assume everyone follows. <laughs> yeah, um, I will use divine sense. Around you, you look at your surroundings and you, you know, extend your consciousness to feel whatever could be felt. Um, and you don't feel anything except the Obviously, yeah. <laughs> it went and just sucked. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, as you um, uh, as you tie your horses to, uh, like some random post, uh, he leads you inside, and inside you notice that this uh uh, uh actually as you go inside, you're going deeper underground. Um, and you see that um, you're clearly entering what seems to be an old dwarven stronghold. Um, and there are lots of like um, signs of wear and tear, um, but there have been like additions. Like the walls have been reinforced with like wood, and it's very out of place. But you know, it keeps the thing from collapsing. <laughs> it's like, and you, you see stuff like that, um, and uh, you see stuff like that uh, littered throughout this like uh, ruin. 
um and after heading a little bit a little bit in the the passageway you are on opens up to a rather large room um to a large room uh it's obviously underground um and a jasper lights a couple of torches just so um you can have light uh and he says uh, you can stay here for the time being i assume you are tired from uh that our travels here yes i know i am <laughs> yes certainly i ask him like um so uh just for how do you know of this place are we safe here my clan needs uh when my clan needs to rest and recover uh, we usually uh, head over here it's old enough to be forgotten by the locals yet it has been visited recently enough that it holds no value for adventurers sounds good, good uh, enough <laughs> yeah i'll send a mental note to uh Kujo to just roam around outside and warn me if anybody, you know, creeps up on us. Yeah, and Kujo heads back, heads back outside. Um, and yeah. Um, I'll say Asumedos lights a campfire inside. Um, uh, Jasper indicates where a campfire could be lighted. Then you notice, true enough, in Dwarven ingenuity, there is like a, there's like a place that, you know, it seems to be like a small shaft, um, like which seems to be like an equivalent of like a chimney, uh, you know, duct. Um, but yeah, you are. Um, let's say you're huddled against the. Um, you're near against like a, like a a section of wall, and um, I assume this is where the party will uh, bunker down in the meantime. Yes. Yep. Yes. But yeah. So at this point, uh, what do you guys do? So yeah, I just talked to the group. So like, um, so this seems like a big, uh, a big dilemma. Any ideas <laughs> on how to incite a revo revolution, a re rebellion, a coup d'état? Our, uh, I think our priority. Or an assassination. Is... Yeah, our priority is to assassinate and get some some allies support from the inside yeah how do we get there though i'll need the i'll need the full day's rest before i can use Boom. my uh pass without a trace again um uh what's this the name of, uh crap uh, where are my Notes. Ga Ga is considered large, right? He's not yeah. not a medium creature. No, large. Uh, based on what? Uh, no. Uh, she's huge. That's bigger than large. Yes, that's okay. a three by three block. <laughs> three by three block. Large is a two by two. Hmm. Damn it. May I mention they're only works on my size. Two mediums. Uh, I ask uh, Jasper. Jasper. What would you suggest? An, ass an assassination inside or can we draw her out? Yeah. I don't think she'll leave. What do you think? Doc can't leave. At least on her own two legs. Uh, she's so big. Uh, that giant is so big. Uh, her legs don't function well anymore. So we have to get to her. I've heard from... Uh, Oh, and at this point, Itsuki, you remember that Ga was sitting on, like, a throne, like, a wagon, or a throne of, like, 
their carriage and you and you remember actually you and Shivra Shivra you also you know this detail um you you remember that um the uh, wagon with a re, with a good and precise hit the wagon could collapse and send her rolling to the pig pens underneath her the great hall I think that's uh I mean, that was one of the ideas that we proposed is to um, get her to you some a party can sneak up to the second floor hall, hit that carriage, and you guys start attacking him from below. But the problem is there's still a lot of uh, ogres there's everywhere. There's too so. many, yeah? What's our plan if we don't get the shot right? Yeah, uh, we'll get the shot right, but getting there is the problem. <laughs> getting out is the problem. Okay. There, whether we can send a message inside before we attack, see if uh, they don't they don't uh, uh, attack us when we're there. You said that the the bottom, the second floor to the ground floor is like seventy feet. What, what did you say? Uh, wait, let me just double check. Uh, Hello, RJ. The fall won't kill her. So, RJ. No, it's only like uh, 1d6 every 10 feet, I think. Damage. Yeah. One, 1d6 one every 10 feet. Yeah, it's 30 feet. 30 feet? The, she'll only fall 30 feet. 30 feet. So, uh, the floor of the great hall to the floor of the pig pen 30 feet is 30 feet How about second floor uh roof to the second floor or from the ground That's... floor roof ground floor the roof yes uh, the roof to the floor of the second floor yes okay uh i think that's 60 60 feet uh, from I'm sorry it starts from 30 feet and then it peaks towards 65 feet okay because it's like uh like a, like a slope okay. yeah, yeah 30 to 60 feet i have a oh um it's i have dimension door i can get you up to the roof if we need to but is there like holes in the roof that could uh windows it's, or it's something straw the 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 roof is actual straw so Oh, will that hold us? I mean, we... we're deaf enough. Maybe not Romy... you, heavy guys. Romia, Romia, uh, in, um, investigation, I guess. That's uh, not bad. Oh, should I have advantage, right? Oh yeah, you're exhausted. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Somebody else do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a four. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Four. Right now, you, you can't really... At this moment, you can't really, like... You don't you know tell. what's gonna happen. Because, like, on one hand, it's straw. On the other hand, it's, like, giant... It's a giant building. Yeah, something so has to be holding it up. So... Yeah. And then, like, yeah. But at this point, like... You're, you're just way too... Like, your mind is... Just I mean, stuff. there has to be, like, wooden planks holding it up, right? Or the wind will just blow it away. I was thinking, like, um, if I can get you, Itsuki, to the roof, we can hit the, hit the cart and make her fall. But then that's just the first part. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, you guys have to be underneath, too. I don't know how to get down. Not I sure. don't know. Well, if I have... Pass without a trace. I could sneak out if it's just me on the roof. Yeah, but um, carriage. as soon as you hit stealth is gone, right, Angelo? As soon as you attack. Oh, oh it depends on how she at he attacks. Yeah. Depends on how he attacks. He can do no, like a... like you. Every, everyone will know this that as soon as you attack the, it's very easy to surmise that as soon as you attack the whole room will go under alert, especially for a spectacle such as her. As falling. the wagon collapsing and her falling, mm -hmm. like the whole room will be on alert. And 
possibly even the whole thing since this is like the heart of the the compound yeah, oh we haven't we haven't sent ascending right to um the wizard uh has it been more than a day already This yet, is, right? Well, this is half a day. Yeah, not it yet. It was night, so it should be the next day. Not yet. We haven't slept yet. We're still like nighttime. Oh. Uh, what was his name? Leander. Oh, Le yeah. Damn, I don't know. <sighs> it's more. It's. I think it's more of like uh, sending a message to the people inside that you know i mean whoever is against uh god it's you know we don't have you don't have to fight for us just don't attack us right oh um mandalorian style no but yeah but uh jesper also uh who, who are the hill giants against stone right is it stone the one that jesper was sent to re recon yes uh the stone giants uh would the if we say that uh jesper if you if you tell her that the stone giants are about to attack grudhog would she empty the place out at, at least the hill giants it's, uh, she'd send some of the hill giants towards them. I mean, she's smart enough to not send everyone, but she'll, she'll send like a she'll send like a party or two. I have to or give two? You some numbers that could that uh, a party could or two numbers, parties. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good that's a good start. After that, can you send word? To your people and the other other races under her un, uh, being enslaved to to help us. He was, he's like he's always trying to think, and he's like, shouldn't I? Shouldn't news of rebellion come before the giants are sent out? Yeah. Yeah. How do you have a suggestion on how to get to your people? Can you send the message? Because you're you going. Because you're also the one that's going to send the message that the stone giants are coming. So you have to send the message of rebellion before the hill. Any of the hill giants spot you, so that when you come, like you're coming from the stone giant, you not you haven't been there yet. Uh, like maybe if, like a couple of you can sneak me in I can talk to some people okay no that's something <laughs> Wait, did we did we say something like last time I a, some of them there's a race that wouldn't rebel or once unsure uh, if they were gonna rebel the Wasn't orcs the and the the orcs and the ogres, yes. yes. Are not gonna rebel or not sure? The the ogres are like chances are no. The orcs he's like fifty fifty. But, but all of the I mean are they going to fight for God against us or not just, rebel meaning they just won't help out? Because if that's the case, that's fine. I'd say at this point, it's a safe assumption that the ogres, when you say when the over the, the ogres will not rebel, that means that they will fight for God. And look the orcs, at, when mm -hmm, the no. orcs, that's the fifty-fifty that, um, it's fifty-fifty that ah sorry, it's fifty-fifty that they won't re uh, that they will rebel. And then if they rebel, there's also like a 50-50 if they're going to actively help out or just not. Okay. Not, okay. you know, just get out of the way. 
So looking, re remembering what Itsuki told us about this ground floor beneath the gas place, there is one one two-headed ogre. Is that an ogre? Yes. Well, and then all of these are know. all of these are yeah. As, uh, from what Itsuki said, all of these others are bugbears, right? Yes. No, no, no. Uh, southern ogre and ogre southern? and orcs. 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 Are there any orcs here? None, right? Uh, where are you? At the bottom floor. Yeah, but like, yeah, the orcs, the orcs' primary like spot is um here, right outside the pig pen, the one with the tents. That's where they are. Yeah, that's where they are. Okay. But in the room. It seemed from what Itsuki remembers, it's just the bugbears and the two headed ogre. And the bottom floor, okay. Yes, yes, it's all bottom floor. Oh, and uh, Jasper, who, what creatures are in the tower on the left? Oh, they're, they're, they're goblinoids. Um, usually, the ones stationed there are hobgoblins. So. You can definitely get to them, right? Yeah. Uh, the if gob if they turned one of my people, they wouldn't be fit for watchtower duty. What, so, do, you, what do you mean? Uh, if if they turn, if they turn anyone, they adopt the character. They adopt. They become like hill giants. So you mean they're stupid? Not, they're not. Yeah. Like like they're not uh, alert enough to be put on watchtower duty. Yep. Okay, so that's. I mean, we can use that as a staging area. We can get to there. Let's do it. So maybe. I don't know, we sneak. Itsuki can sneak uh, Jasper to the tower, and that's where we disseminate the information. And then you go back out, and then Jasper comes by a. Shit, the wyvern's dead. Oh, she, he can come by, by a horse and said that the hill giants attacked him, right? And then tell Ga that they're amassing to attack. And then when they leave. Crap, I don't know. There's still too many. Yeah, like, in this, in this bottom floor, there's still a hill giant and that pet looking thing doing the butchering. At this I don't... point, Jasper asks, like, um, but isn't that too quick? Like, I, I just left Grudhog. Yeah, time to rest. <laughs> how, how, just... how, how far is the stone, stone thing? Stone people, uh, the stone giant's place. Uh, why don't we pretend that we're prisoners? Let him lead us straight to God. the leader in pretend rope that isn't really tied say that we are spies from the other giants camp and that we will like to share all the information but only to the leader so she'd have to clear the room in that way you could escort us all in without being suspected of being a traitor and we get alone time with Grub. Would she clear the room, Jasper? Wait, look. Just I to answer think... the first question. Um, just to answer the first question. He says, says, uh, going to Stone Giant territory is at least like uh, three days. It's a, at least a three day fly. Uh, as to the clearing of the room, uh, 
maybe she'll have one or two as backup, no matter what. That's better than fighting an entire army. It's still better, sir. So chances. And the sooner like, we get rid of her. Still a lot of them. <laughs> but when shit goes down, like wouldn't they all come rushing in again? Good point. Then maybe we just wait for Calvary. We need to ask Cal. Oh, we have we three days. Have Let, let's oh three days and then three days back. So it's like six day journey, right? And he just says, well, I mean, I mean, if hill giants are attacking, maybe it's three days in total. Like I saw them like a day and a half. Uh, I'm coming, coming here. Okay. Th does she have any other scouts or just you reconning the stone giants? I'm the only one for the stone giants. I'm the only one. Is it better to say that they're attacking or that maybe they're vulnerable and that they can attack? Either rumor, either rumor is the same with her. Okay. You know, she, she wants to prove herself stronger than them, so any chance she'll get to display her strength, she'll take it. I do like the idea of being presented to Ga to sneak in a little easier. Can you remind me? Did I ask already before what if she was uh, amenable to a talk? Like if we parlay, parlay. Like the the Yojimbo, I know the Yojimbo plan of like we're here to help you. Then we go to the stone giants. We're here to help you. <laughs> we make them fight. Oh, at this point, at this point, no. Uh, you ask, but like, like at this point, you don't know. I forgot. You, you, you just no, like, like I said that you wouldn't know because um, uh, right now she seems. She seems she can communicate coherently with the party, mm -hmm. but um, you don't know like. How she is, like what her, yeah, yeah. It's that so that's what I'm proposing. Like, uh, it's just a variation on on what the horns here is saying. Instead of being prisoners, we come as allies, and maybe we can do something about the stone giant. Uh, the yeah, the stone giants for her, and then so we get an audience with her. Do you ask this out loud? Or... Yeah, 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 yeah. I I tell the group. Yeah. Um... Just first, like. Just first, like. No matter how smart she is, she's still a hill giant. Uh, she'll only see you as food. At the end of the day. Useful food, but still food. Yeah, but if all we need is to get into that spot, like if we can get her to talk, then we're in the room. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised that if she, you know, attacks you in the middle of the talk or something. <laughs> Game is just prisoners. Uh, you'd we be. Disarmed and eaten immediately, or some of us. Well, unless you present yourselves as. Uh, what would get us an audience? Unspoiled. Maybe prisoners of the. Prisoners of the. Um... Sorry. Spies of the Stone Giants, maybe. What do you mean we're acting as what? We're gonna tell her we're spies from the Hill Giants? Or we're gonna spy for her to the Hill Giants? Or... No, you're spies from we the Hill We are Stone the Giants. spies. 
captured you or something, um, you'll be interrogated in the prisoner in the prisons. Like, and then once she's, you know, satisfied with whatever information, that's when she'll eat you. Okay. okay, we're getting nowhere. How about we sleep on it? Send us sending in the morning. We have a, we have three days. So let's send us sending in the morning, and then let's see what the the old wizard will will suggest. Uh, let's let's fix the 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 message now though. Horns, twenty five words. Twenty five words. <laughs> What are we gonna oh, yeah, say? RJ, since RJ, since About we, I know, since you weren't here in the first part, um, does Asumedo still have spell slots? Oh, sorry, me? Yes. Yeah, um, does he still have spell slots? Yes, I believe I, sh I do. Um, oh, okay. Because I mostly just really use uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask, like, how would uh, MP uh, spell slot less as Romedos, you know, what the physicality would be? But yeah, since you're still full, no need for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm but good. yeah, while you compose your message, I'll just go to the CR. Go. No. Okay. Jay, what are we sending? 25 words. Um, uh, recon. Need... Wait, uh, let's tell them what we found also, Dua. Recon, Grudhog, uh, many, shit, we tell the information we ran out of words again. Can we give the location of Grudhog? We, we know. Okay, we can do that. A grad hog located here. Uh, can how can we give location, Angelo? Is there a way like uh, I don't know how on the ma uh to, on the sending like how would we relay where where it is to him? We can use like landmarks, like. Um, like fifty Grand miles from. Where again? I have forgotten. Groundhog is the hill, the hill giant's place. No, I understand, but where is it? Like, how did we get there? I know we we yeah. rode horses and then we walked. We went from was it southeast, southwest from from uh, Golden Fields. So Golden Fields, you took two days east. East. And then roughly four days to the north. Okay, west. so that's what we have to say. Grudhug, two days east. Grudhug, two days. Two days east. East of Golden Fields. No, Grudhug is. Days. Okay. All right. Go. Yeah, uh, Grudhog is two words, but Golden Fields is one word. So, <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, net wise, it's still the same, but like. <laughs> Can't we no space it and <laughs> make it one word? <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck! The magic knows. <laughs> Damn it. So, wait again. Grudhog, Grudhog is two words. But Golden Fields is just one. Okay. So, I mean. So, Grudhog, two days. Wait, if it's two days east, east, four days north, south, sorry, north. Northwest. Four days northwest. It's already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine words, not bad. Nine, okay, that's nine. Okay. The Grudhog, two days east, four days north, northwest, Golden Fields. Uh... Do we have a rough count of how many uh, orcs? Sorry, wait, wait. Two days okay. east of Golden Fields and then four days northwest. So we're like east and then go back up to the left. 
we went right and then we went up left for four yeah. days. Do we know oh, if wait? I think wait. This the group has a map, right? I I I don't remember if I gave you that map. I think yeah. I think you, you gave us a map. Okay, I'll show you. I think. Wait, long. Okay, I'm loading the world map. No Does anybody have a map on the ano, on their inventory? I think we got the map with the when in the council after or something. They have a, yeah. They gave us a map. Yeah. I don't have it in my inventory. Let me see it in mine. Shibra, so. you have any map in your pockets? Sure. Ah, sorry, it wasn't ano pala. North, just like east and then north long. Sorry, sorry. Okay. But I mean, if we have but a like, map, if we have a map, maybe we can just pinpoint it like. Yeah, but we can't send photos. No, I'm sure there's like a way to draw a section. <laughs> no, like uh, yeah, what's that? Latitude, longitude, stuff like that. Have a map. You have a map? I I don't. I don't. But yeah, I think yeah, I think I remember giving you guys. But how you just didn't put it in your yeah? Maybe uh, points you can do it. Since you're the what? Just put a map on your inventory. Sure, sure. Uh, but yeah, I put it here. I put the I put the Groundhog marker in the map. Okay, so Golden Fields is here. Uh, Groundhog there. Uh, how do we say this? We we can measure it here, right? Uh, yeah. If you have an actual map. Yeah, you can. There's. I know there's measurements. Yeah, here on the bottom. That's like almost 100 miles. Yeah, around 100 miles. 100 miles, right? It's close to the legend at the bottom. 100 miles yeah. north, south, northeast. Right? We can do that? Yeah. So, Grudhog. Hundred miles northeast, Golden Fields. One, two, three, four. Shit, northeast is towards? Yes. No, north. North, 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 east, north, whoa, that's one word. Or can we say, yeah, that's one word, right? One word. word. North, yeah. Yeah, it's one word. North, east, Parang, golden uh, fields. North, west, airline. That's one word. North, west. So that's five words. Okay, what what else do we send? Do we send, uh, no? How many creatures there are? Yeah, description of the... So what did uh, of shit. <laughs> what does Itsuki remember? How many hill giants? Oh no, we have it here. Uh, wait, the map okay. is reloading again. Uh, hill giants, ogres. Oh well, um, I'll just give the number. Orcs. Uh, you remember around like nine hill giants. Okay, or ogres. In the second floor, even more. Ogres, you only you only saw four. Or orcs. Like ten ish. Ten ish. Don't have an okay. actual count. Yeah, yeah. At least um, ten. Have goblins and goblins. Uh, goblins you saw running around, around like again more than ten. Okay. Hub goblins you saw. Who? How many? Who? Two. Two? Hmm. Okay, that's one, two. You three. saw two. Uh, you saw two. That's around twelve words. Seventeen total. We got eight words left. Advice? What? <laughs> 
Oh, um, yeah. Jesper, um... I'll go restroom now. Go, go, go. Uh, have inside man. Inside... Man... Possible... Sway... Possible sway smaller creatures. Would that make sense? Advice. Let's lessen these words. Fourteen. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Still twenty two. No three words, well. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Does that make sense? I know, Joe. I love you, mean it. So here, Grudhog, hundred shit, hundred miles. Hundred miles. Northeast gold, golden fields. That's six words. And then I say nine hill giants, fourteen ogres, orcs, twelve hobgoblin goblins. Have inside man possibly sway smaller creatures. Advice. Make sense, Jay? I guess so. From what I heard, sure. Let's try it. Where do you? Where did you send it? Oh uh, no! I, I just I wrote it down. Let me write it. So you can double check for me. Uh... Here. Forgive my spelling. Gr Grudhog. 100 miles north northeast. Golden fields. Nine. Hill giant. Uh -oh. One. Uh. Nine hill giants, fourteen ogres, orcs, twelve um, goblins, goblins. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighteen. Um, inside man. So how many is that? Last two letters. Last two letters can be one, four, five, <coughs> seven, one, two. 18, 19, 20, 21. Four more words. Have inside man. Can Please inside. Help. Can inside rebellion. Advice? I don't know. That's 25 for my count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 25. I just, I just uh, edit as you please.
Are we asking for advice or are we asking for help? Either, right? What does he want us to do? Or we can say, yeah, you can advice make it help. help. That's what we're going to go over. You have to edit a word. Can you what do we want? Do we want help or do we want what? We want help. I try like, what does that help look like in an ideal situation? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Calvary. We yes, need, what if we say we need help sent to Grud Hug, whatever my, number miles northeast of Golden Fields. Can you send or not? Or maybe we can ask, need help for how many total enemies? Mm. 26. You need help against 35? what? Like 50, 25. That, that, that sounds like you're asking for an army. <laughs> we are. Don't we need an army to battle the entire Dreadhog? But we're trying to... Jesper... We promised Jesper we're trying to help also. But yeah, we can use what an if, army. We can what if the army inside the rebellion. To draw the attention? We're back to the same. She's not gonna empty it out. She's still gonna leave uh, a lot of creatures inside. What same if thing. If they're not gonna attack. What if we sleep, rest, and then Itsuki can cast Pass Without Trace and we assassinate from inside? You know, like, uh, oh, you weren't here, Kanina, but Angelo said, as soon as... Your stealth, as soon as you attack, everybody's gonna be alert. Yeah, I mean, can see you, but that attack should drop her off to the second floor. I don't know. Yeah, that's just that's only what's that 30 feet of damage 1d6 per, per 30 feet. So that's we, we could even us, we could survive that. I don't know, and her, her constitution's probably gonna be really high. That's the place on fire. It's Jasper, Jasper already answered that before. Na, um, oh, yeah. Uh, There's no explosives. Yeah, I get that. But can, oh, no. Can, like, like, right now, the, the, the walls are like made of like mud and clay. Um, since it's an actual dam, um, the material is mostly wet. So, okay. Uh, well, perfect. Even though, yeah, and it's by the lake. Is there a way to damage it enough that the water. Will help ruin parts of it. Like, you know, you build a sand castle. If you penetrate one part of it, it will weaken since it is mud and sticks and stones. Um, I'd say you can, but it's going to take a considerable effort. Because <laughs> we don't have explosives and stuff. We got the first part down. We, it's he will sneak in Jespor to in, to incite the rebellion. So we got the small creatures on our side. It's after the second step that we don't have. The giant. Well, well, the thing is, if we kill, um, got Ga. quick enough, the giants will disperse. Yeah, the, 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 so that's the that's the that's the trick. It's getting to kill her with us surviving. But like, 
Yeah, but like, what's the revolution ba about? Like, what's your goal with the revolution ba? The rebellion. Just for that, I mean, just so that we have more of, telling them to start. They have right? more friend, allies and less people to fight. Yeah, but like, are they? Are is the goal to let them not fight, or is the goal to help you fight? Both. Ah, okay. J- j- uh, uh, new thought. Jasper, is there any way to sabotage the fortress? Either break it um, or make Ga fall to the first floor or uh, just flood the whole place, break everything. If we have the help of all that. those, all, all, if we have help from all of your goblins and have goblins, then we have enough force to sabotage this place and then we can Jasper's Jasper's like and then Jasper's like that's gonna take a lot of effort and time but if we're fighting with you shouldn't that buy enough time for you guys to kill her off the problem is the the other hill giants if there's more than three even if you cover the others i don't know if we'll survive that we barely i mean malak got knocked out right when we fought the three hill giants that were with i know moog i got knocked out i know oh but we didn't run out we didn't run out of spell slots though but if Ga falls to the second floor, will the attack of the other hill giants on the, the second floor be immediate? Might 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 buy us some time. A couple how of rounds f- at least. Do we know how fast a hill giant is? Uh you've seen them move around, so I'd say like mm, around forty to fifty feet per round. Fuck. Okay, okay. They so have to go down. We're starting the plan, yeah. Um so uh Jasper, is there any way uh, you and your uh, you and your allies can make her fall? You know, so they if they can sabotage the cart without us being up there, that solves a, a major problem. If you can sabotage the cart, she falls to the first first floor where we're all waiting. Then we can wail on her, and maybe if they can even sabotage the stairs, maybe block it or somehow. Set it on fire so that we can delay the giants from coming down. That combined with uh, Jesper coming in and saying that uh, send, sending gi- the par- party of giants out to face the stone giants. That could give us a shot. Uh, it's rather the stairway or the wagon. I don't think we have enough people to do both at the same time. Do the stairway, baby. Stairway? How like, how will we drop him? Uh, sorry, sorry. Do the uh, uh, the wagon because that will immediately topple her down, right? Just risk like, it that it will 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 finish. If we give everything that we've got to Ga, we might, you know, kill Ga quick enough. Okay, getting a plan. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I don't think any one of us, I don't think anyone there is strong enough to collapse that wagon in a single attack. But maybe we can, you know, buy you some time by blocking the stairway stairs. So, meaning one of us or some some of us have to do the. The yeah, thing. can I not just like shoot the the from the roof, shoot the wagon. Wagon just gets destroyed. God goes to the ground floor with you guys waiting. Right, once you clear the the ogres or at least like scatter the ogres or negotiate with the ogres, and then just concentrate on either the struggling ogres and Ga. And then hope that the, the <laughs> giants from the second floor take, take too much time before they arrive 
to the ground floor to uh no know, i think oh i think time. jasper said that they can sabotage the stairway to give us enough time so now the problem is just bringing or, down. Or, or they can deal with the stairway just to give you enough time not necessarily s sabotage it but like or just like hold hold it you know. yeah okay so it, either way it's the same thing for us so the, the 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 main deal is how to make her fall yeah like from itsuki's point of view is it for sure that if she if you break the cart she's gonna fall to the to the hole because if she doesn't fall to the floor to, the, to that hole we're, I we're think that was the uh, the main the main thing right that's the main thing that we found out during uh, Shiva and Ice uh, um, yeah. Expert, yeah. if it Expert gives you any solace as Shiva is very grounded in her explanation and expectations she said that this can happen so at least it's you know that it's not that exaggerated in terms of its skis you know moments of grandeur because say you have Shira backing him up <laughs> could we take oh. out that no string or whatever that's making her smart oh yeah we can try that but I mean, uh, let's get her down to the ground first and then we can deal with that after that can be our priority killing her and getting that no string okay we got that covered the, the real point is how how, how to How can you, if we use the dimension door to get you up to the roof, how are you going to follow us down? That's like 90 feet. The rope is at most 50 feet. We can tie two mm. ropes together, 100 feet. You can slide yeah. down. Or I can jump into my, uh, what do you call this? Um, do you have any rope like trick? It? How will that help you get down? Well, if it's 90 feet. That's right. I can just like tie a bunch of ropes and then rappel down, right? Bungee jump down because I'm cool like that. Ninja. <laughs> oh my god, I can just imagine you doing a Gwen Stacy and just your head snapping on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm doing the uh, uh, Tom Cruise. Mission Impossible Tom Cruise one. And your head's just gonna stop, and then we're like, oh, there goes our ranger. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, for, uh, no, FYI, uh, the cloak isn't attunement, uh, I'm just saying. Isn't attunement? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But, but it's one use, one use per day. Uh, I have a... Yeah, I know. I have a cloak for Dimension Door, so that's 500 feet anywhere. I have a spell scroll for Misty Steps. If that works for you. Uh, 30 feet. Uh... So I can jump. And then in between my jump, activate Misty Step for the last 30 feet so I don't die. Yes. Oh, wait. That's, that's, like, cool. uh, that's not the no, ranger no, no. spell. It, it's not part of your uh, ranger spell. I can use it. Oh, okay. Uh, I can get me and Itsuki up. I just don't know how to get down. We can use dimension door to the roof, but getting down is the tricky part. And there or even only... I can give I can give you the cloak and you can dimension door up, but you can't go. It's getting you down. That's the problem. Uh, as 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 I have misty step, Angelo. What what's I should be an expert on it, right? So what would yeah. happen if it's ninety feet? I fall if I jump as Malak. I jump. And then, like, 60 feet or 70 feet, and then I misty step to the ground. Is there going to be damage? That's cool. I want to do that. From that height, no, because you're falling too fast and it needs a bonus action. You can't ready a bonus action. I mean, we you can know do what? the. I'll say, wait, I'll go. Go, go. I'll say you can, but you'll have to roll to see if you can. You might have some damage there. 
but I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, so that's one down. But uh, it's key. Uh, can I take? Oh wait, let me see. Can I take a key on, on my Missy step? No, just the just your cloak. Damn it! I can't take the, the the wait. So even if I'm my rogue class can't use the the misty step scroll knee RJ. No, uh, that sucks. I think it has to be in your spell spell list, even even if it's higher, but it has to be there. Let's see. I mean, worst case scenario, I think we, we can do that. Lang, right? Tie two ropes, make a hundred feet. Why don't we just catch them? <laughs> yeah. No, dude, because so... the hole is going to be where Ga falls. So if you're going to fall, you're going to hit Ga. Or at least in, his, in, her, in, um, <laughs> in her area. I, you I can bounce. just, um, in a worst case scenario, I can just uh, activate my um, pass without a trace and then just walk down or run down so i might lose a few um turns but it'll just be all no you, you i think you should you're gonna we're all gonna need your pass without a trace already to just get in oh shit yeah right i mean you'll have if he casts it on us and he leaves we're, we all have it right it needs to be near me oh it has to be in here yeah, mm. near him mm. You have to be within. Thirty feet. Anybody within thirty feet, me. No, is it on casting or just or to maintain it? So for yeah, for the duration, for yeah. the duration, each creature you choose within thirty feet of you has. Oh. Yeah, it says for the duration. To cast it, right? But mm -hmm. after that. But after that, we can. We can disperse, separate. Right? It seems like it. I think like, so. Yeah, that's, that's what uh, I interpret. For the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you, including you, has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity, stealth, checks, and can't be tracked except by magical means. A creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage. Oh, but the first so line says... you just have says, to cast it within you guys. But the first line says, A veil of shadow silence radiates from you. I don't know if... Mm. Up, it's. I think this is up for the DMs. I know interpretation. That's true. Do, do you have to be within thirty feet of me the entire time, or I can cast it and bounce? Wait, lang. Sorry, I'm verifying the rules, lang. Cause like. Go go go. We don't have any more, I don't know, no? Spell of Invisibilities. Don't, don't you still have, like, a potion or two? Does anybody have any Invisibility left? Um, portable hole, Potion of Greater Healing, Dust of Sneezing and Choking. That's it. What does that dust of sneezing and choking do, Joe? Make them sneeze and choke. <laughs> what does it? Can you read it to me? Uh, you use an action to throw a handful of dust, the dust into the air. You and the creature that needs to breathe within thirty feet of you must succeed on a DC fifteen Constitution saving throw or become unable to breathe while sneezing uncontrollably. <laughs> It's a double-edged sword. Oh, you can use that. As soon as you drop Ga, if you're on the roof, Ga falls. I can jump on Ga. No, no, no. You still use the rope to go down, but as soon as you... As soon as Ga drops, you can throw that to the giants in the room. To even Just delay them longer. Feet. Yeah, but throw it by there okay. in no. that room, right? And then you just make sure it doesn't drop to the floor. Yeah. 
I'm done with that plan. I mean, I just want some cool action. Okay, uh, I'll say that you have to be within 30 feet before mm. Sasha <sighs> Dollar Tree's floor. Okay. So it's just okay. Well, we just need the pass without a trace just to get to the room below. Yes, and then you can dimension door to the roof. Mm -hmm. And, and then... then now you guys will be seen by the ogres. Or if we, we can hide. We can try to hide before you before you leave. Before I, before I dimension door. Yeah. And then... Are we not going to talk to the ogres on the ground floor? See if... Oh, we can do that. No, there's only guy. from what I remember, there was only one ogre in the the ground floors. Most of them bug are bugbears. So bugbears, bugbears would be part of the rebellion, right? From they're not only yeah. ogres. Not and, all, lad. Not all. Yeah, Some yeah, of them yeah. are turned down. Fifty. So, uh, so I, yeah, we'll ask Jasper about this plan. Like, will will the roof hold? Will is there places from where Itsuki can shoot from the roof? Yeah. Jasper, this whole time has just been like studying the four of you. <laughs> <laughs> is this like, he's crazy? He just straightens his back and looks around. It's just he starts to like. Uh, the cloak it you have, but like, what does it do again? It can teleport uh, at least two medium-sized creatures up to 500 feet anywhere. And then anyone can use this cloak, correct? Yes. You start thinking, and like you, there's like this obvious. It's obviously beneath, uh, be, uh, beyond his eyes. The gears are turning. Um, and then he looks at. You, it's, uh, yeah, it's key. It says, and you can sneak it, sneak past everything in Guard Hall. Yep. It's like, and then it's like, so can't you just shoot the wagon on the ground floor and then teleport down? That's simpler. So I sneak in all the way up to the well. Oh yeah. So we sneak in. <laughs> I didn't. Why did I think of? <laughs> that's, that's true. Sneak that's into the second floor. We just sneak in. I sneak. You you guys stay stay in this hide in the in ambush on the first floor. I sneak further into the second floor. Shoot the wagon. Wagon falls. I teleport down to you guys and start attacking. But I will say. You've seen Malak use this, and Malak had to take his time, aka it's an action. So you will lose your first round. To attack, but, but there'll in... be a yeah, so I'll be the tail but end you'll of the be... attack. Yeah, but you'll be in the battlefield already. I think yeah, parang... we'll... yeah, in the for example, the first round, your first action will be Dimension Door Down. So, mm -hmm. and then that's that, that's it. So, that's just, it. you know. That's it, yeah. yeah. Can, I mean, can, I'm telling can... you this because you've seen Malak, you've seen Malak use this a lot. Can yeah, it's key? But can it's key use haste? No. What? Sorry. Can it's key use haste? Haste. Is that part of his repertoire? I have a I have a scroll for haste. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Right now, not yet, because like um, we if haven't... he cho if he chooses to be an arcane trickster, then yes. But like since he's just base rogue, without spell casting, um, that would no. have helped. That would have given you an excellent action. Eh? I think that's, I mean, that's, uh, I think, a solid risk to take because you'll have, you have three or four of you guys attacking. Right. And then he looks, and then Jasper just looks around and says, So we're not doing the prisoner angle anymore? No, I don't think we need it. Because the prison cells are right at the pig pens already. I think we can. Yeah, kill. but we're not gonna have our weapons, right? I mean, 
Depends on who's handling her weapons. Besides, it's gonna take some time for me to talk to everyone. I mean, we can do the pass without the trace, right? I guess the question is how we, how will we hide while you're while you're going up. Is there any place you can set up set us up to hide in that in the second floor? The problem with being prisoners is just we don't know. There's other yeah. stuff they can do. They can beat us up. They can. They can eat one of us. You know, yeah. they don't have to keep off. I think off. we concentrate on killing Ga and then figure out the prisoners after. Because the things we want to, we want to have the giants disperse. Right? That's the most important thing. Lessen the risk. Like, uh, yeah, maybe just. I mean, if you can wedge yourself, you know, or wedge yourself in some corner. Yeah, like maybe can make, they can they sure set the pigs don't cause a commotion? Can they set up like uh, something near it, like uh, I don't know, like uh, crates or something that we can hide upon? Stack something on one uh, side. I'll talk to some of my. I'll talk to some of my people if they can do that. That 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 river, Angelo. This one. How hard is this moving? Oh shit! Which one? This one. Oh, the the big one, the center one. Yes. It's not. It's not. It's not moving. <laughs> okay, I mean, so like, I. It's a slow. Water I'm gonna ask Jesper. Can we sneak through there? Oh. It uh, it's Ken Shiver, you know this. Um, it's it's quite shallow, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's more of like a leakage, not exactly a. Uh, so there's no know, like no entrance to for us to get into that. The river, uh, no, <laughs> not without digging through, you know. But still, pass without a trace, our best. We're the prisoners. Here, call guys. I'm. I think we, we have a we have a fun plan. <laughs> oh, how many were guarding the prisoners? Was that Jay? Till death part. <laughs> you know what they say during marriage: till death do us part. I mean, if if Jesper can make sure that. Uh, the guards in the prison area are on our side, then we can just sneak and then hide in that room with them. Because they won't cause the alert, right? So we don't need to be prisoners. And then as soon as Ga falls, we bomb rush in, bomb rush down. So we stay here in this part, if you're looking at the map. We hide there. Since if we're prisoners, they can get us our weapons. It's the same thing as just letting us hide there. Yeah, we can let them. Yeah, I mean... It's and the same thing. It's like we're sneaking in to hide in the ground floor. I'm sneaking up to bring God down. No, but yeah, but the point is, it's easier to hide in this room if there's like only two guards and they're they're on our side instead of this big area where there's many other people can who can watch us. Okay. Where are you pressing? I'm still confused. Oh, here, here. Top map, the bottom map. Bottom map. Okay. okay. Can you see can you see my, my thingy? My my pointer? I do. But these are what kind of beings? These are Bugbears. 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 But they're not connected to the person the the NPC that we have with us right now, right? They, oh, they are, they are. They, all, they can. All goblinoids are the same. Yeah, the problems <laughs> so are like, go, go goblinoids and then like there are three so under the umbrella of goblinoids you have hobgoblins bugbears and goblins okay. yeah so they're gonna be on our side the problem is the ogres and the What's orcs 12a with two heads that's an uh, ogre that seems to be like two-headed ogre 
and that's still considered as a goblinoid. No, 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 no. That's, so that's our problems, problem. our only problem is the orcs and the ogres. The other three can, are probably on our side. Pero again, not all ah. Yes, some yes, of them yes. have been turned uh. So assuming what uh, Jesper said about the the tower, people, uh, the the ones guarding the prison will probably not turn because they need to be smart, right? So they can, they're probably on our side. Or he, I mean, he can set it up that way. So we just need to sneak into this room. Then we can easily hide because there's all the people there will be on our side. Then, then it's he can keep the pass without trace for himself and sneak up, trash the cart, and then go down. Why can't we get everyone on our side? Um, different race name orcs and ogres. No, I mean the goblinoids. Some of them have been parang zombified. Zombified? Yeah, like uh, yeah. like uh, hill giants. So they're like stupid. They just follow ga. Like um, before, uh, Jasper told you that um, it seems that some of the race have been the magic has been cast on them to emulate like the values of hill giants. So they become very big, either via being fat or being very very muscular um because you know that's what stre- hill giants want um but the, it also means that they become uh stupid and they follow god so or not ever not all of the goblinoids have been trans transformed yet but chances are those that have been transformed will likely to be beyond reasoning and why are the ogres again in orcs have they all been hill for the orcs for the orcs since they're separate races that's since that's a separate race yun nga, he, he since that's why it's kind of 50 50. oh so it's 50 50 not to, okay yeah but okay. with the ogres the ogres believe that if they follow the hill giants and the hill giants bring glory to their name the ogres f- believe that um they'll uh, share in it the, the, they'll awesome. follow they'll follow with the rise something like that I think that's the we've mitigated as much risk as we can you'll never know who will be on our side And then are you are you guys still doing the plan of like luring out some of the hill giants? I think so. That should be part of the plan. Lesson. Yeah, so to lesson how them. are you doing that? The So for for the first few days, uh Jesper will spread word of the rebellion and set up the plan to make sure that yeah. we got the two guys by the prison. And the, and that all of them will hold hold the hill giants from the second floor. And then, like on on day three or day four, when we're ready, that's when Jesper will come come back saying that uh, they can attack the hill giants or the stone giants. So it empties whatever they can empty, and then we execute the plan when they leave. Jesper's like, I mean, yeah, but like, can any one of you? Bullshit better than I do. <laughs> uh, horns? It's the best bullshit. <laughs> um, plus eight. I can bullshit enough. Yeah, my, my yeah, perception is I, deception, right? My mm-hmm. deception is plus three. Well, I have persuasion plus eight, deception plus eight. Intimidation plus eight. All plus eight? Yeah. Damn. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be speaking at all anymore. (laughs) I'll just shove you in front all the time. And then plus five to performance. Plus six to stuff. Damn. But everything else. (laughs) 
So why what, what do you suggest uh, what are you suggesting Jasper? Like can we get horns here to bullshit it for you? Yeah, I mean it's always nice to have, you know, a better bullshitter at your side. But uh, how would you introduce him? A prisoner or an ally? Your choice. If he's a prisoner, I can be the one to escort him to the prison cells. Up to you, Horns. Well, I don't particularly enjoy getting myself tied up by another male species. But, <laughs> but I mean, you can bullshit your way out of it. Like, maybe make yourself an ally of them. Maybe you can... She can keep you beside her, like a, uh, like a, um, like her spy, and then you can help Itsuki. You can help Itsuki take it, take the blast down. And then okay. he looks at the, he looks at you, Malak. Jasper looks at you, Malak, with a cloak, and he says, "Like, and then you can bring someone with that, right?" Yes. Why? No, I mean, if they're both up there, like, at least, you know, the two of them can go down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Itsuki or Asmedos has the cloak, and then they attack, they can just dimension door down. Oh, even better then. Then they can do it in the same round, because Itsuki will shoot, and then Asmedos will use his action dimension door down then itsuki doesn't isn't exposed for one round oh good boy good job jasper that's why i wanted you to join us the silver shadows <laughs> no, my 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 duty is to my clan is there any way to set up the dusk the the dust, uh, dust of sneezing and choking to explode by itself. Just, just, just plan. I'll, I'll just go to see. Yeah, go, go, go. And it says it needs to be activated. This so uh, activated. Like a... I think it's, it's to throw. You just need to throw a handful of dust in the air. It's an action to throw. To throw, so yeah. I mean... Maybe you can just give it to Jesper and. Give it but to... I think I'm already on the tune down. What is that? No. Um... Wait, what's this? Where can we... Where's the record of our attunement slot? Wait. Uh, uh, I think it doesn't say. You just have to know it. Eh? I have ring of protection, plate armor. Oh, yeah. Ring of protection, oh, oh, yeah. staff of defense, and rob of the rod of the pack keeper. I have three. How can I unattune? Can I do? They just take time. No attunement. The uh, cloak doesn't need attunement. Oh, it doesn't need? No, so you're fine. Okay. So, like a Jasper, is there any way maybe you can use this? Give it to one of your friends, and they can use it to. Uh, it can help them um, against the, the giants up there. The dusk of sneezing and choking. We'll find the use of this. I mean, if there's any way that we can auto like join your own route. Yeah. So if you don't want to fight, just activate it when um, people are coming in, right? Is there any way to activate it, like set a movie? Uh, once um, Asomedos and Itsuki drops to the, uh, teleports to the ground floor, maybe you can rig it to explode or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Mm. 
There's only just... there's only enough for one use anyways. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just for one of these goblins can just hold on. Since they're gonna be taking care of the giants of. Yeah, well, one of us can deal with this. Okay. So now it's gonna. <laughs> Everything will fall on horns. Horns. It's gonna be up to you. <laughs> to bullshit your way. You can try. Okay, so just just let let's break it down. Um, yeah, break it down, and I'll insert where like it needs the plan needs time to simmer. Yeah. So, um, so in like oh, in like two days or one and a half, two days, three days. Jasper returns. Wait, we 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 still send the message though. Just maybe you ask for help, whatever help he can do, and not be specific. I send a message to Leander. I mean, if you want. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it would it couldn't hurt. Maybe what do we send Jay? Send what we thought about Kanina. Yeah. Just ask for backup, I guess. Like, just in case. Okay, so we're gonna say we we'll do the Grudhog one hundred. Like, we'll, we'll attack Grudhog in six days. Okay, so let's start with the location. So, Gradhog, 100 miles northeast, Golden Fields. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Gradhog, 100 miles northeast, Golden Fields. Will attack in... We'll make it 5 or 6 days? Mm-hmm. Okay, 6 days. How many days? 6 days. Send any help? Send support. Send, send support. Send any help or support. Yeah, so that's what we'll send. The next day. Okay. Yeah, but like for now, just for now. That's okay, okay, okay. The plan is. So like after some amount of time, just for returns alone. Yes? Yes, yes. No, no, um... No, he has to sneak back in first with Itsuki so he can set up the rebellion. Okay. Aren't we okay. all sneaking so, in? Oh, oh, what's so, that? So John? that can happen. Yeah, we're all sneaking in. No, no, not yet. We need no, to set up the rebellion this first. Is, this is pre-game, pre-game. Okay, okay. So we, we're not executing so, it yet. We're not executing it yet. Yeah. So uh -huh. let's just say on day... Okay, let's just go day one. Itsuki it, and... Actually, everyone goes to Grudhog, but only Itsuki and um. Or actually, never mind. Itsuki and Jasper. Um, uh, Jasper will sneak in, so Jasper can talk to whoever needs to talk to. Yes. And then they leave. Like to disseminate then, the plan and uh set up uh, the rebellion. Okay, and then after three days, he returns. Mm, to Ga. Returns with Asumedos. Yes. Saying that, oh, he's a prisoner, or like, oh, he's an ally, and then Asumedos does his thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And then while that, and then while that's happening, Itsuki, Shivra, and Mala are sneaking in. Once, once we see the party leave, like she's gonna send uh, whatever attack force she can, and then we sneak. Okay. Okay. So what am I going to bullshit my way out of again? That I'm a spy from the other giant? And I want to betray them? Yeah. Oh, up to you how, how you want it, but you're just saying that uh, the stone giants are vulnerable now and that they can be... Or either that or they're attacking. Anything to get her to send an attack force out of the keep lessen our bad bad guys and then that's when me and the other sneak in and then we execute the plan wait and then once you sneak in it's he's gonna sneak back up yeah we're gonna hide in the prison yeah the rest of us will hide in the prison it's goes back up 
with uh, uh to me to go, to get with Asomedos and then yeah they attack and then they teleport down and got falls and then hope hopefully <laughs> it's gonna be ga with hopefully it's just ga with like a reduced amount of yes of fighters yes and then once they okay. make her fall they teleport down and hopefully the other goblinoids will hold just off the fall. other hill giants up upstairs and then we can get we get to ga okay Okay, so yeah, the only time lang needed is the. Well, actually, no. If you line it up right, the the information can be disseminated while Jasper is pretending to be away. Um, away. But you're gonna rely on Jasper to disseminate the information. Uh, it's his people. I don't think anybody of us can. Can do but, it. Like, no, one, no one's gonna go with him, or so, no one's gonna, you know, help him. I'm oh, yeah, well, yeah, I'm it's it's he can if he's sneaking with him, yeah, yeah, but just it's key, yeah, because I, I, I have crap stealth, so it's it can't be me. Uh, Shivra can, I guess, I can give you the cloak, you can use it for emergencies, you can take Shivra with you. 500 feet away that should be good enough escape escape route you don't even need to see the location that you're teleporting as long as you know you can put the image on your face on your head on your mind i mean so maybe shivra and itsuki go back in with chest four yeah side rebellion and then what we go back out again, pick up Arsumedos to negotiate. Is that how it goes? No, no, no. no. You go out and then Jesper comes back with Arsumedos. I go up. No, no, no. No, no, no. Like, let's say day one, right? So Jesper, Itsuki, and Shivra go in. If you want, uh, Shivra. Um, you all go in and uh, disseminate information. And then for the next... I, in my head, uh, just uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is my analog. For the next, like, two to three days, you'll keep... Re re you will keep inciting rebellion. Mm -hmm. uh, on the th so every day you'll be coming back. On the third day, that's when all of you come back. Nah. And then that's when Asumedos is presented. That's when you sne the all of you sneak in. Like, that's when the plan happens. But... For the three days prior, like a small part of the party will go keep going in just to fan the flames. Makes sense. I mean, that works for me because, like, again, I'm preparing to just shoot the wagon. Yeah, but like the wagons later, pal. We're talking about like the foundation. Because, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Based on your plan, it seems like the stress point of this plan is getting the goblinoids on your side mm -hmm. and making sure Asomedos isn't eaten. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then Jasper's like, I mean, I mean, none of you are human, right? So, um,. She's all, she's mostly eaten human. And we have a backup plan. So when Itsuki and Shiva are in, they have the cloak. So anytime they can bum out. Then when Azumed Asomedos comes in, he has the cloak. So he can bum out also if he's about to be eaten. Okay. And it re requires no dice roll anyways. You're just gonna bump. Five hundred feet away. Cloak what what do you call it? Cloak of Mountain Mountain Buck? I don't know how to pronounce it. Mounte Bank. Mounte Bank. Uh, yeah, Mounte Bank. That, the one we got from the bitch Vierth. How about Asumedos? Does he have haste? Yeah, I should have a lot. No, I mean in his spell repertoire. 
case. Should be. Um, character sheet. Compendium. Class. Warlock. What level is this? Three. No, they don't have it. I don't have it. It's Sork, Wizard, Artificer, Paladin. a subclass of Druid, and two subclasses of Paladin. Paladin. Okay. Oh, she rushed out as well. But yeah, the cloak is our safety net here. Jasper, will you fight with us once the the the, the arrows start flying? He'll be doing the the sneezing. I'll make sure that my people get out of this alive. That means keeping us alive because <laughs> if we die, you're back to square one. He nods and says, yes, uh, uh, I, pl I plan to stay by the stairwell to okay. Mm. Okay. And then, us. yeah, and then for an along part of the rebellion is talking with the orcs. Yes. Hopefully okay. Leander can send some help also. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're, we're, we have, you know, a semblance of a plan now. Okay. What's your message? Uh, the one we said, uh, Grad Hog, 100 miles northeast, Golden Fields. Send help. What did you say, Joe? Send help. We'll attack in... Advice, send help. Six days. Or whatever day that we plan. There we go. Yeah, let's just change the six to like X. Yeah, whatever, like... whatever the yeah, whatever the date is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This so, can this can become a t uh, TPK. <laughs> we might we might be doing Curse of Strada. <laughs> I was talking to Angelo Karina. <laughs> Oh, Angelo doesn't. Uh, no, it's not. Um, doesn't vibe with horror, pala. Whatever. I mean, the second next campaign. But yeah. We got a plan. Okay. So let's start the first. So let's rest. Okay. So uh, that's a long rest, right? I'll say that the night proceeds uneventful enough, and it's okay. you know you're in a cave. You feel you're alone. Pretty well so secure. You can, you know, yeah. let, let your hair down and then, you know. <laughs> so everyone now has a long rest. Okay, so no more exhaustion. I hate that shit. Ooh, I get my hit dice back. Spell slots back. Okay, 20 health. Okay. We good, boy. Do I we know... Good. Before we run the plan, I want to know more information about the stone giants. Like, I need notes. Good. Good. I didn't think of that. Smart. That's why I'm not the bullshit. How are you gonna negotiate? Yeah, like who's the leader of the Stone Giants? Where's what's the name of their place? Oh, what Is what's your cool? what's your connection to them? What's your motivation to turn on them? Yes. What do the Hill Giants have to offer you? Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just. They this could not villain. necessarily have anything to offer me. So the story is the stone giants are currently weak and can be taken over. I am abused. Uh, but why well, Why are they weak? Let's brainstorm it now like uh, Malak will be, I'll be God. Why are they weak? Workshopping it. <laughs> Workshopping it. Wait, narratively, do you want this happening like before your rest or after now? Like in the I guess, morning? I guess it can be after now because me and Asumedas won't be doing anything while Shivra and are out. And... 
or out uh, inciting rebellion. Okay. So me and Asamedos are doing like uh, the lawyer thing, prepping a witness. So what will you say if uh so why okay. why why are but, they weak? But, but I'll say I'll say for the first night of your sleep, um Asomedo, since you asked for this, like um like you'll sleep you'll sleep a little bit later because you like Jesper's, you know, giving you all the Yeah, yeah, yeah the, 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 all the information. Bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I'll just say the information as we go, so, so I not uh, so I don't have to say everything. Um but like when you're when you're prepping the witness, so so to speak, that's when I'll just um, come in with like what you were told. But yeah, uh, but actually, I mean, also with your three days of uh, three-ish days of we'll level up. Um, downtime, um, that is also a good opportunity to practice your new skills as you level up. Ooh. Okay. I was just joking. Ooh. It worked. <laughs> yeah. Level so, seven. I'll say that since since a lot is happening now, um, let's end the session now. Narratively, let's end now. But let's roll HP now since we have this extra time. So at least next yep. week, um, go 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 now. Yeah. Um, and so basically, so so for the first part of next week, um, it will be the party will be split in two. The first part is uh, it's Ken Shivra with their stealth and you know Rebellion. liberation mission and the other half is Malak and Asomedos with their prepping the witness um you know uh, uh plan yeah the the brainstorm and then yeah and then it's going to converge into preparing actually doing the thing um oh i got a 20 shit okay so uh oh yeah, my god uh, here we go again okay um Itsuki, do you have ano na, Rogue or Ranger? Which one are you gonna level up? Oh shit, you're right. Multi-class, okay, like, baby. Alphabetical, so, you have, so you have time to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just go ano, um, Shivra, are you are you multi-classing or are you sticking with Fighter? Uh, sticking to Fighter. Okay, so... How do I roll, roll D10, just one D10 okay. plus add your constitution modifier. One You're two, hoping two. for a zero. I got a four. Okay. So four plus your con mod. Con. That's three. So you get seven. Seven additional seven. HP. Seven. Go up. Okay. Um. Asumedos, are you uh are you keeping warlock? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm. Oh hi. Let's in. let's let you know. I'll give you more sec couple of seconds to uh Ooh, okay. Asomedos. Right. Are Asomedos, are you uh oh, going he... paladin? I'm sorry, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No, sorry. Malak, are you going paladin? Oh, do you suggest anything else? I mean based based on how we've been going, Malak seems to be like paladin through and through all in right yeah yeah i agree yeah i'll go paladin so that's uh 1d10 yes guys pray for me 1d10 I What is it? Five plus two, seven. Okay, average. Okay. Okay. <sighs> like, to those who multi class, like, yeah, I, I'll, I'll increase my rogue level because rogue level two has dash, disengage, and hide. So that might be yes. useful. Yes. So, oh, it is. Yeah. So I'll do that. Uh, so rogue roll me uh d what's a ring what's a rogue uh, this eight yata oh shit okay um yes you roll a d8 d8 eight okay this is one right. okay hoping for an eight ah! <laughs> 
It's eight. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Plus. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Okay. So yeah, you get your cunning action na as a rogue. And then Asumedos. What uh spellcaster are you going into? I will stay. I'll continue okay. being a warlock pure. Okay, so I th- yeah, that's a D eight. Yeah, oh, it's automatically added. Cutting action. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, but as a warlock, um, you're level seven, all right? Yeah, wow, yeah. your your spells are now level four. Yes. Uh, shucks. Yeah, no. Uh. So yeah, lots to think about. Since yeah, spell casting is a very, I know. So yeah, with all your experiences and you know, with your, you know, uh, time to train, um, is you this, will. Be... No, no, two plus Constitution modifier. Yes. So I know my number of spells that I know. Is my charisma modifier plus half my paladin level level rounded down? Since yeah, my charisma modifier didn't change, and it's seven, it's still six. So I don't and add I any get... add other spells, right? Yeah. I also get an additional Eldritch Invocation at level seven. Yeah. So which and one did your... I need to take? And then for you, Shivra, your samurai, uh, you get your elegant... Courtier. Ooh, you you now What's add that? your wisdom modifier mm-hmm. when you make uh, persuasion checks. Oh. And you get uh and you get um proficiency in wisdom saving throws. <coughs> I get an extra second level spell slot. That helps. Super Sapko, since Shivra uh, and Itsuki, you will be doing the inciting of the yeah. rebellion part. I have some hiding so, and some some hiding skills now. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then yeah, and then <laughs> Shivra has you know uh, has gained uh, you know persuasion through her wisdom. <laughs> mm-hmm. nice. And then Paladin level seven, uh, oath feature. So what's your uh, the relentless avenger is that helpful yeah that's helpful yeah well it depends on the creature type some creature types fight to the death some try to run away if they're losing so like if you make an OA at least um you can chase them. It's easier for you to chase things down. So yeah. So yeah, relatively, you know, uneventful this session, but you know, lots to plan. Uh lots of planning. And in the few in the for our fortieth game next week, um and apparently the one year of the, uh, the, the campaign. The, the campaign. Ooh. Yeah, so. So we did pretty good, guys. Like, uh, I don't know if you were there, RJ, but we're going to be 40 episodes in one year. So we basically missed. We did three three weeks a month. I think right. that's pretty great, right? Well done. Yeah, so, very no, consistent. That, that's actually, that was the intended schedule yeah. Of- yeah no i mean but compared to other campaigns no, no, other no, like, people doing this were one, pretty good no for for this one i specifically asked if we could do like can we only do like three weeks three or what yeah three games a month and then like that's basically what happened <laughs> no no but i mean the 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 fact that we were able to do it three weeks or ah, not, yeah, yeah, not yeah. less right? no that's the fact that we lasted a year <laughs> paladin level oh shit <laughs> My lay of hands is Paladin 7 times 5, so it's 35 now. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. Don't worry, man. 
one hit from an enemy is like 35 as well. <laughs> don't, don't, don't jinx us. So wait, uh, something's wrong with my... Does Divine Sense increase, Angelo? Uh, why did it go up? Divine Sense... It? You can use this feature number times equal to 1 plus your Charisma modifier. Oh, so it's 4, yeah. Okay, 1, 3. Harness Divine Power... That's only one time, right? I only have... Channel Divinity doesn't increase, right? Uh, on certain levels, yes. But at this point, yeah, it's it's the same. It's still one? Yeah. Okay, why do I have two here? Oh, wait, sorry. Let me just double check. I'm so sure. Point did that increase? But dude, this lay of hands has been helping us a lot. Do you have any recommendation for um, invocation? Uh, what do you have now? Okay, where do I check that? Invocation. Sheesh, where is that? Where is it displayed? Wait a minute. Oh, so I have Agonizing Blast, Book of Ancient Secrets, and Devil Sight. Why is my Harness Divine Power counter at 2? It only be 1. You can look at Maddening Hex if you want that. Um, for RP, there's Mask of Many Faces. Um, Ooh! Uh, Mire nice. of the Mind is pretty good, Ren. Um... There's Relentless Hex, so you can teleport. Uh, and then teleport Repelling Blast. Next to the person I curse me. Yeah, and then Repelling Blast. To push them away. Yeah. That's weird. The maddening hex can be done every turn, no? I don't need to mention it one time. Uh, As a bonus action, you cause a psychic disturbance around the target cursed by your hex spell or by a warlock creature of yours, such as Hexblade's curse or sign of ill omen. When you do so, you deal psychic damage to the target and each creature of your choice within five feet of it, the psychic damage equals your charisma modifier, minimum one damage. To use this invocation, you must be able to see the cursed target and it must be within 30 feet of you. Yeah, so the, uh, you you have to use your bonus action. But other than that, it's... Uh... What does that do? This guy at will without expending a spell slot oh again again i can this i can cast this guy's self at will without expending a spell slot damn kind of like um aria in game of thrones yeah exactly i am no one
Wait, uh, hello. I'm checking something. Feet, dapat yung kailangan ko, ano, Angelo. Para mag... I can cast even with weapons in hand. Yes, that's a warcaster. Warcaster. So next level pa yan. And how many spells can I swap since now I have level 4 spells? Uh, one. One. Oh, well, I add one spell naman talaga. Yeah. So you add one and change one. I can add one and change one. I know it's weird. The bad channel divinity is one per rest. Yeah, one per short rest yata. Wait, where is that? Channel divinity. That's only supposed to be one. Whew. You gain the following two Fibra, divinity. What for you? You got all your features now, no? An action. So your so your persuasion should be plus charisma plus wisdom. I can summon a greater demon at level four. And then your um for Shiva your um your wisdom you should be proficient now in wisdom saving throws. Yeah, wisdoms are really good. Um, saving throw. <laughs> so the big three, the big three are wisdom, dexterity, constitution. Like those are My the big wisdom three. Wisdom saving throw is plus three. Plus three. What's your wisdom modifier? Plus two. It should be plus five. Hmm. Yeah, when I leveled up, it didn't seem to say anything about the elegant court here. Oh, can you cl can you tap on the elegant courtier section in your features? Um, uh, it doesn't seem to be here. Eesh. Oh, it's not in your section. Mm -hmm, it's not. Hala, hala, can you like level up again to add it? <laughs> Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, that's why Angelo. Channel Div Divinity r refreshes on a short rest. So I can technically use Harness Divine Power twice in a lot between long rests if I have a short rest. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm. But I can't use it three times. Even like even if there's more rests in between. Yeah. I can't use it more than two. Okay. Okay, makes sense. That's an automatic shot. Okay. You got it. You got it. Uh, Trying to fix it. What's your HP, Joe? Oh, okay. 49. Okay. At least I am the tank <laughs> for now. Oh, Isa, what's your HP? Um, I think it's 63. Shit, so you're the tank. <laughs> what's yours? 55. I'm 56. You're 56. <laughs> You're not even the second. God, I don't even have the second level. God damn, I've been rolling so bad. Oh, and Angelo, um, I just want to say that I might change my spell list before next week. I can do that on a long rest. Yeah, you can do it now, actually. No, I have to. I, I want to read up first. Sorry, you say you were saying something. Oh, how much XP is there in the level so I can minus it, subtract, and then add, try and adding it again? Oh, how much XP do you have now? 
It's a full bar. Oh. Just, just click on level up. Can you click edit and then... Oh, I'm, at, I'm at level 7 and I missed the... The? Uh, eight. The feature. To add. She missed the how to add. So she oh. leveled up without adding the level 7 stuff. Oh. So can she go down and then back up? Or... Yeah, I think so. So edit and then go to your class. Click on Paladin. Oh. Yeah. It only says increase fighter level. Okay, you go edit and then class, whatever fighter. You see, you click on fighter. Below the name fighter, there's a level. You can click it. change the number. Click it to six. Or you can just character. edit from there and just add the feet from there. I just make it six and then done and then level up again. This time when you level up, it's gonna show you the optional stuff, right? Just remember your HP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just edit it afterwards. Angela, solid to someone greater demon, but risky. Yeah. Why? Yeah, if you want it. That's a, Why is it risky? Yeah, it's an I extra can... body on the field. Yeah. You summon a greater demon with a challenge rating of five. But after every turn, the demon takes a charisma saving throw with disadvantage if I say its true name. On a failed save, it continues to obey us. If it saves, then it will it could turn against us. Shit. <laughs> yeah, let's see. See our let's see. Let's see. If you want it, yeah. Does it fit as a medal? Yeah, no, you, got, you have to say. No, yeah, that's right. I'm not really more demon. I'm not really very demonic. But there's some an aberration. What is an aberration? What is counted as an aberration? There's beholder kin, slud, or star spawn. Yeah, those are basically like Cthulhu like things. Tentacles things. Wait, what's your CR for aberration? Uh, what do you mean CR? Like the the boss of greater demons, like up to CR five, the right? bar. Oh yeah, creature symbols aberration. Okay, wait, wait. manifest unoccupied. You call for corporeal form uses aberrant spirit stat block. Aberrant spirit stat block. What is an aberrant spirit stat block? Be it so, na you're given like a set. You're given a set list now. Mm -hmm. Uh Perry, you know uh, no, uh, you know that spell needs money and um right now oh, you don't yeah. have four hundred gold. Yeah. Pieces. Aberrant spirit is like it's like the monster has its own stat block anymore. So it's not like the demon one, uh, I have to give you the stat block from the monster manual. So uh -huh. Um, yeah. So, bagay, ito naman sa greater demon, the only amount, the only thing I need to use, ver it's verbal, it's somatic, and then the material is a vial of blood from a humanoid killed within the past 24 hours. So, I'll, I'll need to start collecting blood from killed beings. <laughs> well, at least, uh, no, at the most, like, kill somebody before a big fight. Is it 24 hours? Eh? That's what to do that. <laughs> He's not the killer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my other character will definitely do that, but not him. <laughs> Knock this. Without, without a doubt. Without, without a hesitation. But not Asomet. I, I think Asomet is pretty, you know, not a bad guy. He's a... Uh, uh, how are you? Did you get? Did you get? The, yeah, did you level up again? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. So your yeah. wisdom is now plus seven. So it's wisdom. It should be plus three plus plus three plus three. So it should be plus six. Yeah, plus six. Okay, and then your persuasion. Are you proficient? Um, I am at a plus one. Oh. No, I'm ah. not. Okay, so you're not proficient, but your charisma is plus one, right? And your wisdom is plus three. 
So you should be at least plus um, four, right? Abil the ability modifier is plus two. Oh. So, so, so plus, plus six two, ka and dapat? Plus two and then saving throw plus six. Ah, okay. No, your saving throw is okay na, no? Plus six, no? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then your persuasion modifier. Uh, What's your charisma modifier? Plus two? Charisma is plus one. And then your wisdom modifier? Plus two. Plus two. So you should be a plus three for your persuasion. Plus so plus three plus one that would be four plus four. Where does it? Ah, yeah. So yeah, is your ano correct na? Is your persuasion correct na? I do. I leave it as plus one. Ah uh, no. If you go to your your feature list, you go down to the courtier one, the elegant courtier. Mm -hmm. When you tap it, um, you can add at the bottom. Oh, there's okay. add modifier, okay. and then you can go like uh, bonus, and then uh, there's proficiency bonus. Plus... Oh, sorry, there's skill category skill, and then you go to persuasion. Then just pick the, just pick your, I uh, know, just pick your wisdom modifier. Why? I got my spell, Phantasmal Killer, under the Hexblade um, spell list. What does it do? Um, 120 feet, only verbal and somatic, concentration there. You tap into the nightmares of a creature you can see within range and create an illusory manifestation of its deepest fears, visible only to that creature. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the target becomes frightened for the duration. At the end of each target's turn, before the spell ends, the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 4d10 psychic damage. Pretty high. Nice. On a yeah. successful save. Although, on a successful save, the spell ends. But what's my spell you're good? Save? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay, so you're done. Uh, 17. For it's, it's just more of like more options lang, right? So you got that automatically na. So as a bonus action, you can do more stuff. So, yeah. So yeah, for it's key, recalling that the, the, the preliminary the preliminary round for the Tyro Cup, when you were surrounded by the three tentacles, yeah, you could have bonus action, disengage, and then we would be able to attack or whatever. Or mm. you know. when you so, yeah, dis disengage you from multiple creatures, it's all disengaged, not right? from anyone around yes. you, not just yeah. one. Because disengage means like you're just aware of like what your exit strategy is. And guys, oh, also try to remember, I know, uh, when you have a saving throw and you're beside me, you get a plus three. Yeah. On any saving throw, oh. when you're beside me, within 10 feet. That's the aura. Yeah, aura protection. And then, yeah, for for Itsuki, um, when you're stealth, I'll only consider the for your first hit to be advantage. Because for... okay, the... you have bonus action, yeah, you have bonus action to hide, right? Mm -hmm. So once, once you make your first shot, the enemy will be aware that, okay, you're there. So, yeah. But at least your first hit was advantage now. Uh, for your the first entire attack, party yeah. or for that one attack that no, I'm... Just, no, just for you. Just for you. Um, Since if you do bonus action hide and then the next turn you attack, I'm only gonna, we're only going to make the first attack advantage. Because you're hiding. Okay. You're still... Oh. But he can... So he can... This turn he can hide... And then the next turn, he attacks with advantage, attacks again, he can move and then he can hide again. Yeah. yeah, so you can hit and hide because every time you hide successfully, your next attack has advantage. Yeah. 
Pero when you have, if adva- I don't, if I when don't you have hide, advantage, you use your sneak attack again. Mul- if there's multiple enemies, am I only advantage on the first enemy that I attack? Yeah. It's more of like, yeah, when you're hiding, it's more of like you're preparing your next action already. So even if like, even if you have an enemy beside you, an enemy in front of you, if you turn the corner and the creature in front of you can't see you, you, adva- that you have advantage on that hit. But the creature to your left, you don't have advantage because like he, the, that it. monster can still see you. Yeah. Got it. And then Paladin, yeah, you get your, I know, additional Brilliant. feature. The you can chase creatures easily now. Um. Yeah. And yeah. For that, I'll for that I'll let's say that that half movement applies to your mount. So if you're on a mount, we can use the mount's movement. Okay. So if it's higher, and then it's farther. Yeah. But Kujo's Ku- yeah, for... mount speed is 30 for now, right? Warhorse. Ah, fine, speed is only 30. Oh, Warhorse. No, oh. Warhorse, that's right? Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And then for Asumedo. Oh, 60 feet. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Must be the 60 feet. So I'll say when you do a reaction, you can, and if you're on code rule, um, you can use your 30, 30 feet. feet. And I can use it okay. to hide also, Diva. I say it, it, I, I mean, can, I can use it to pretend like there's three people around me. One hits me, I uh, one at one tries to escape. I can hit it and then I can escape also. I say it doesn't provo- provoke yeah, opportunity attacks though. Yes. Okay. And then for Asumedos, you got your spell now, right? Your uh, Phantasmal. Yep. Okay, and then are you updating any spell? Um, Not yet. I'll read up some more, but I'll message it on the group. I'm also okay. still selecting the invocation. Okay. It okay. all looks very helpful. I have to just be careful when selecting. But one of my spells is, at least for now, the fourth level spell will be the Phantasmal Sword. Ah, I want to get to level 9 because yun yung haste. Eh. haste. I'm looking at haste. Double edged, ah. if, you, if you lose concentration, uh, that's, you lose one round. Oh, what's that? Exhaustion? So, yeah. Or like, like uh, no, the no, after no. effect? I mean like RP exhaustion. Yeah, RP exhaustion. Like, not, not, not the one round, DM. You can't move, yeah, you can't move for one round. Or sorry, you can't do actions and reactions for one round. So yeah, I mean, you know, just pure planning this I know, session. Um so yeah, fun. Everyone agree with the We went through a lot yeah, of permutations. Let's, yeah, let's just go around the no. So does everyone agree with the plan? Uh it's key. Is this it's it's key in agreement? Yep. Okay. Uh Malak? Yep. Three days of negotiations. Malak? Yep, yep. Okay, as a matter. Yeah. Okay, she <laughs> you sure, bro? No objections. Okay, so the I'm gonna plan. Happen. I'll be jailed. I'm gonna plan for this. I'm gonna plan for this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Me and as yeah. will have so a, a She Hulk episode. Lawyer discussion. <laughs> yeah. While, you know, it's well, she read it, Ski are out there playing. Are you know, trying uh, to let, let, votes? <laughs> yeah, they're out there, you know. Lem is a Rob, you know, <laughs> <laughs> song of our people. Uh, <laughs> Another level oh, yeah. four spell for Warlock Palace Dimension, though. I think that's very helpful. It's a good spell, right, Angelo? Is it considered a good spell? Because yeah. anyway, the, the, the limits on it are less, not a lot of limits because it can... You don't even need to see where you're going. As long as you know where you're going. And is that spell so, yeah. the same as the cape? He can take one yeah. with him. Mm. 
And it can be a place you can see one, you can visualize, or you can describe by stating distance and direction. Maganda rin yung banishment. Um, hello. Pero yeah. how would I know the item is useful to the target? Oh, does that have a cost? Does that have a... Does that have a... Verbal, somatic, and then material. The material is an item distasteful to the target. Oh, if there's no gold cost, you can use your arcane objects. Like okay. your staff or your wand. So. Okay. I can attempt to send a creature to another plane of existence. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, that it disappeared. <laughs> Damn. How big a creature? Can we do that to that? <laughs> Any. It didn't say anything, eh? One creature Any. you can see within range. Or Ga plane. isn't considered the humanoid, right? The target will no. succeed no. Okay. or be banished. That's why you have to make this example banishment. Banishment asks for a creature. Uh, charm person asks. Uh, dominate person asks for a humanoid stuff like that. Yeah, hold. I was and thinking okay, if I so change hold person. Oh yeah, hold. Like hmm? Creature is a monster. Hindi siya humanoid. Creature is like anything under the sun. Any so animal. Like if you're fighting, or, uh, you know, a demon. Humans, by the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The creature is like the umbrella term for you know, living being. Okay, take us home. Everybody good? Everybody good for 28? Yep. Next Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so. DM, good? Yeah. Ah, oh, thank God. Lots to plan for next week. <laughs> this okay. week was like, oh, I'll just react to the party. So my notes were like super short. But next week is going to be like, oh. <laughs> Very fine. You, you came from COVID. So th this was a perfect uh, episode for you to jump back in uh take us home jay all right ladies and gentlemen here we are the proud silver shadows now level, level seven players yes. welcome to still... level seven let's see if that number's lucky for us or not but it's been a fun planning session. I believe the next few um, sessions will be more jam-packed with action, but let's find out uh, if the party survives or will we face our very first TPK. Let's hope Oof. not. <coughs> but for anything else, uh, thank you again to all our viewers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, so you know when a new episode drops. This episode usually drops on Wednesdays, 12 noon, Philippine time. Now, if you're not on YouTube, you can actually be reminded if you follow us on our socials. We are available on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter with the handle plus 63HP. All right. Now, just in case you just love to hear our voices, we are available on your podcast of choice. We are, uh, we prefer our podcast spotify and even uh what did i miss amazon yeah okay so um that's it final goodbyes let's start with the man with a plan from uh new york john thanks for watching us looking forward to uh seeing us negotiate more with inciting a rebellion next week all right um of course uh the big father figure of us all, the man who proclaims he's a tank, but he's basically the third strongest in HP, Vox. Yeah, hello. Yeah, um, thanks for uh, watching. I uh, had fun with this one, even though, you know, we went through different iterations of the plan. So that was fun. Uh, and uh, I don't know if it was meant to be, but thanks for the birthday gift, Angela, for the level seven. And yeah, so happy to wear that. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you. Actual birthday. Well, now it's done, so not anymore. Yeah, we're past but... 30 minutes past. In, in, in drunk it's still in noon. New York. In, in oh, yeah, <laughs> still 21 there. <laughs> All right, and of course, the flower amongst the thorns. Lisa. Uh, here's the more sessions to come, and good luck to us next week. 
love it. And of course, our master weaver of worlds, our DM Angelo. Um, well, yeah, let's see what happens next week. So lots of different stages of the plan from negotiating to sneaking to attacking. So let's see if, you know, the three pl- the three s- parts of your master plan come to fruition. Um, but yeah, um, I guess next week, just in case, let's, prep for, uh, let's prepare ourselves for a little bit later. Since um, if we do engage in combat, you know, you know how combat goes. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, just you know, heads up. Especially since we're doing lots of you know, uh, prep work before that with you know, uh, uh, lawyering and um, rebellion. So there's also lots of RP next week. So yeah, and then let's like also full... know, be prepared with the combat uh, up on deck, so we can flow yeah. faster. But yeah, I think next, I think, you know, what we have on plan next week is a good, like, anniversary session. So, a little bit of everything. There's exploration, there's combat, there's RP, and, you know, you have a big boss to fight. So, no matter what happens, I'm sure it'll be memorable. (laughs) I'm sure it would be. Yeah, I cannot, cannot wait for all of you to use your new abilities. Yeah. So the protection, the uh, hiding and the <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like for in a that's very you know useful, and you know it lines up with its key's desire to play dirty. So yeah. like yeah, John, I, I I played the rogue in our other campaign before. It it's awesome. Just like hit and run, hit and run, hit and hide. I, I mean hit and hide. Always with advantage. When you have advantage, you always have your sneak attack. So it's always good. Yeah. And then okay, a lot of combos. Yeah, for, yeah, for uh, Warlock and Paladin, your new spells in your mm-hmm. toolbox. Um, and yeah, and then for uh, for Isa, I cannot wait to see how you know we're gonna RP her, you know, mm-hmm. persuasion skills. <laughs> Since you'll be with the one on the field during the inciting the rebellion part. So yeah, I mean, you can now use. I mean. We can now say like your battle tactics will be. We can have flashbacks of your father there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is he the source of ease of of Shiva's wisdom? Like, yeah, can yes. one say that? Okay, so yeah. If oh, if you have any flashbacks you want in particular, you just send me. Yeah, so I'll we can incorporate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have key flashbacks you want to, mm-hmm. like mostly of the flashbacks I just give you like you know small enough that it's not disruptive to your backstory. So. <laughs> But if you have yeah, the big moments, yeah, just send me. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, good luck to everyone next week. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. And with that, level seven silver shadows. Peace out. <laughs>